Hey guys, it's Cameron again, and I am back with a little book haul. I did say I had a 50 plus book haul coming up, and that does not count any of these books. Okay, I got all these today at my library book sale. Me and my family went, and we got a total of about 85 books, 43 of which are mine. But we only spent $4 and we did get a library tote bag out of the deal. So 85 books for $4, that's that's not bad. I was going to do a writing vlog today talking about my writing experience, but I decided before I put all these on the shelves, I may as well just show them to you guys while they're out and about. This book looks absolutely awesome. It's called Head Wounds. That cover is incredible. So cool. Murder in a Mummy's Case. It's a pretty old one. A lot of these are mysteries. They had a ton of them there. This one is No Sign of Murder, which has an awesome cover. Village Affairs, which is another mystery. Another really cool cover there. A Hopeless Case. Lost Boy, Lost Girl by Peter Straub. Glare. Sorry about that. This one I was really happy to find, and that is The Ruins by Scott Smith. A Dark and Deadly Deception, which is another mystery. The Science of Stephen King. I had to pick that up. I thought it looked really cool. Beyond the Western Sea by Avi. The House on Hound Hill, which is a children's book. A Halloween Spectacle. This is a really small, little children's novel. I love Halloween, so I thought I'd pick that up for Halloween this year. This is uh, st uh, starring Sally J. Friedman as herself by Judy Bloom. I love Judy Bloom, so had to pick that up. Something Upstairs, which is a ghost story, and this is also by Avi. The Drowned by Elizabeth Levy. Ransom at Sea by Fred Hunter. Gosh, I'm mighty. There we go. I thought that had an awesome cover. A G is for Grafton, which is about Sue Grafton's life, I think. I think it's her autobiography. No, maybe it's her bi it's a biography. That's what it is. Uh, Behold a Mystery. This one looks really cool. Literary Murder which is a murder mystery involving books. Um, yeah, had to pick that up. How could I not? This one has a beautiful cover. It is the center of everything. Yeah, the camera doesn't do it justice, but it looks really beautiful. Uh, 2010 Children's Writers and Illustrators Market, um, which is basically just a book about all of the publishing companies for children's, for the children's market. Guilty Mind, another mystery. Uh, the Entertainer, and it had a, a creepy dummy on the cover, so how to get it, because I'm weird. Dust by Martha Grimes. This is another mystery, and I thought the cover of that was absolutely awesome. It kind of reminds me of, like, Midnight in Paris. Another YA right here. This is Falling from Grace. This looks incredible. The Haunted Bookshop. I love books about books. And then if they add in a layer of the supernatural or a mystery or something, then it's right up my alley. And this is actually a really old book. It was printed in 1955. And for a library book, it's not in bad shape either. So Coffin knows the answer. That has the creepiest cover ever. Look at that. So creepy. Um, I have a few Ann Perry books here. Uh, this is At Some Disputed Barricade. Funeral in Blue, and then Execution Dock. Jumpstart your book sales. Thought it would be helpful to me as a writer. Another writing book, 2010 Guide to Literary Agents. Um, I thought these books had really cool covers. Um, see, this is book one. It's called The Last Enemy. Oof. What's that? And then A Deadly Paradise. Um, this is Scream in Silence, Crime Beat by Michael Connolly, Revenge of the Kali Ra. This has a very noir cover, even on the back. 2006, The Best of American Mystery Stories. And then this is 2005, Best of American Mystery Stories. I thought this was cool. Library of Congress. Um, this is basically just a, a really old guide to the Library of Congress. A Star is Found. I love books on Hollywood and movie stars and all that jazz. So. Kiss Me Like a Stranger by Gene Wilder. 
I like Gene Wilder as an actor. And then the last one here is Open Wide. And it is uh, How Hollywood Box Office Became a National Obsession. So yes, those are all the books I got today. One day, this many books. So, yeah. I'm going to go put these away now, and I will see you guys in another video. I will be doing my other uh, book haul of all my other books that I got um, over the past few months, because I haven't done a book haul in a really long time. Actually, my last book haul was last year, so it's been a while. Um, and I have a lot that it built up over that time. So I'm going to do that. There's a couple tags I want to do. I know a lot of you guys have tagged me to do certain videos. So I will get around to some of those. don't think I'll be able to get around to all of them, but I'll get around to as many as I possibly can. I also have a couple other videos planned. So you guys can keep an eye out for those. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.